Yeah, welcome back. It's good to see everybody. And uh, it's that time of year, man. I know because it's cold and rainy outside. Uh, we have had a great spring training so far. Uh, had about 10 really good workouts. And uh, today was going to mark game number one, uh, which it's actually the first official start of the spring. Uh, we're allowed so many hours a week up to this point, and we've maximized all of it. Uh, we have canceled today. We're just going to do meetings and, and some skill work. Uh, don't want to stress these arms in this weather. Get we're, Some of our better arms were set to throw today, and I don't want to get them up and down, and uh, especially not first time out. So uh, we'll, we'll double up tomorrow and play. Instead of four innings, we'll play eight innings starting at 11 and uh, do the same thing on Sunday. Uh, Mondays are our mandatory off day and then start the week over with a game on Tuesday, practice Wednesday, Thursday, and uh, then three games next weekend. So what I like to do is try to set or uh, just kind of set the season right up front of what it'll look like for our guys and get us in that game routine. Been in a practice routine for a long time now. Now it's time to take the next step and get inside our game routine. Well, you mentioned the arms. So how would you kind of compare where your mind is right now about what your options are for weekend rotations compared to where you were a year ago? Light years. Uh, Gunner has done an amazing job of, of really uh, developing roles uh, inside of that staff and uh, identifying what's what. Not that we haven't done that in the past, but it's just the uh, some of it, Kev's a little more cut and dry uh, this year which is a good thing, right? And so I think we're able to, I'm not gonna announce anything today, obviously, but I think we're able to establish uh, those roles and, and who fits where uh, much quicker and easier than say uh, years past. A couple of guys on that staff health issues last year. How, how do you stand right now with some of those guys? Right now, I mean, with the exception of one that was probably gonna redshirt anyway, I'd say we're, we're full go. Coach, you got 22 newcomers on the roster. Uh, just talk about, you know, what some of those guys have done, you know, through the spring to, you know, get ready to be able to contribute to the team. Well, Jamarcus, there's been a ton of them that have stood out for sure. Uh, just kind of going reverse. I mean, I think anytime you start a ball club with with Kyle DeBarge on it and John Taylor and and uh, some of those guys, man, you've you've got a, a puncher's chance for sure. Uh, I hate not having Dylan Toit this year as part of this team. He's rehabbing Tommy John. Uh, we will have him next year, but we've added key additions like Jack Martinez, uh, Duncan Pastore, LP, uh, you know, uh, Matty Holzhammer. Uh, there's just been uh, some exciting additions, not only to the pitching staff, but offensively as well. Uh, that I'm really excited. It's going to be incredibly tough to replace, and I don't think you set out to uh, a rock, a, a hood, uh, you know, a Julian, some of these guys, uh, and I don't know that we will, but if this makes sense and kind of the way I look at it, I think you can replace them and make up for them uh, on the pitching side of things, and I think that's going to balance things off for us a little bit. Uh, we were so one-sided a year ago that you knew that bubble was going to burst at some point. You just, it's hard to maintain offense at that, that high a level, you know, in the postseason and not be able to match it with pitching. And I think we're more balanced than we were a year ago. Uh, just as good, but a little more balanced. What about the catcher situation? I think there's two right now and, in, in, uh, you know, uh, Jose Torres, uh, has a really, really good skill set catch and throw guy. Uh, Jackson Halter is a left handed bat uh, that can really swing it, play multiple positions, but it's also very, very tough minded and, and physically tough behind the plate. And I think you'll see those two guys split in time. You mentioned a little bit about Calvin Bars. Um, do you feel like his ability is what's going to like set the tone for what this team could really be? Or is it, you know, everybody? coming together to, to make this team, you know, be special? No, I think Kyle has probably set the tone on whatever team he's ever been on. And uh, he's he's done that the last two years here. And uh, I think you saw when he was out last year for the 12 games or whatever it was, it was a major blow. Uh, 
is he's like having another coach on the field and and you can't discount that i know you like to say it's uh and it is a team effort it's you know we're we're packed but uh he's definitely that alpha dog so who's the surprise party at third base this year well, Duncan Pastore's done a great job. I don't know that I'm going to be pulling an outfielder uh, and waiting, uh, which, hey, you got to admit, they've both worked out pretty good. Uh, I don't – I mean, Connor Higgs isn't coming down to third, I can tell you that. Uh, but Duncan is a – man, he's a surefire hitter and uh, just that he's got the numbers to prove it, uh, obviously, at a, at a lower level. But – I watched him against LSU, watched him against Nichols. The kid can hit. He's physical, 6'3", he can run. Uh, and he knows how to play our game. You mentioned Connor. I mean, it's kind of a, such an intriguing prospect down the stretch last year. Where is he? What's the next step for him? Yeah, if we start, if we were playing tonight, he'd hit in the two-hole and play center field. Uh, you know, that's and that's what I mean by there's not only on the pitching side, I mean, there's some things that are just stand out right now that are pretty cut and dried. Uh, which I like going into this because I want to establish a lineup early and I want to I want to ride it for a little while. And, uh, you know, if Connor stays healthy, he'll be out there all the time. He's had a tremendous fall and, and uh, off to a good start this spring. You said that a lot of things are kind of cut and dry. What's something that kind of came completely out of surprise that just like, oh, wow, this is pretty cool or this is something I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed with? Uh, I, I don't, you know, I don't I don't think we've had that moment. Uh, Zach Storbachens played extremely well. He'd play first base if we went out tonight. Uh, you know, I think if I had to answer that, I would say uh, the emergence of a uh, Stephen Cash going from 83, 84 to 87, 88, 89, changing his arm slot. The sophomore class uh, as a group of hitters with your Stellies, your Robies, those guys, the improvement and strides that they've they've made. Uh, I wouldn't call it a surprise, but I'd say it's probably right there in that category. Uh, they're ready to play and play a lot, uh, which is what you want. And uh, if you're if you're going to sign them young, you got to develop them and then depend on them uh, whenever you have a class leave. And uh, I think they're ready to go. Uh, you know, we've had some 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 arms. Uh, you know, so like I saw Blake McGee throw the other day, and it's let's just face it, it's been closer to a year than not that we've all seen him. And uh, it was electric. It was it was exciting. So there's another guy to add to the fold, and uh, I, I would say that's a that's very encouraging, uh, if not exciting. Obviously, there are expectations on every team. Every team wants to make it, win the national championship, all the way, and things like that. What is it about this group that you've seen thus far that makes you believe that they can go on a run, a deep postseason run, or, or just be a special team? Their leadership and 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 that pitching staff and and look the the offense isn't a bunch of you know zeros. It's, we're going to score. Uh, do we have the sheer dynamics that we had a year ago offensively? Time will tell. Uh, on paper, no. But we've got a group that understands what we're doing. They're still extremely athletic. Uh, they can execute our offense, and I think what we can do is get a little bit more traditional and play behind that pitching staff instead of vice versa the other way around the pitching staff trying to play behind the hitters. What about defense in the outfield? We've been a little small to our theater. So like is that is that an area where maybe on paper you're not gonna be you're gonna have some catching up? I think so. Uh, I I think we should all prepare ourselves right now for that. That uh we're spoiled by some of the routine plays Heath Hood was making or Rock uh, or Shock or TR or whoever it might have been, we, you get spoiled by that. The more you watch, the you know, the less it impresses you, right, over time until they're gone. And, uh, you know, you're going to definitely see us catch what we get to, and, and we'll see. We'll see. Uh, there's some good outfielders out there. Uh, Stelly right now is more of an offensive guy. Uh, but he'll definitely go out and play. I'm going to invest at bats into him. He'd be in left field tonight. And uh, I think right field's the spot where you're seeing a battle between Broussard, Alexander, Juhas, uh, and then Higgs is going to run out center. Now, Higgs has been a part of those outfields, and he's he's played it extremely well. Uh, and so – but I just don't think you can uh, underestimate the value that Rock and, and uh, Hoodie had out there along with Higgs.
you mm-hmm. briefly mentioned about Coach Leje and uh, adding him to the staff. Um, what does a coach of his caliber with the skill set he has had as a player and the knowledge he has of the game can help do to, you know, uh, help out your bullpen? I think first and foremost, he's very, very smart and he's thought out and he's planned out. He's organized, very well structured, uh, has a great way of communicating and he's got instant respect. And I think that's the biggest thing. I call it coaching by osmosis sometimes. And, uh, you know, he has a resume that that'll put him in the UL Hall of Fame here shortly. And I think just being around that every day and his attitude and, and confidence and, uh, you know, his ability to teach and communicate has no choice but to rub off on those guys. And I've seen a lot of that. How much have y'all, I'm sure y'all have, but I mean, as far as his thought processes on how to use middle relievers, the, the closer concept, how important is that or not important? Like, where is he on all that or is that still? I think he and I are coalesced on the same page. And, uh, you know, we're in unison on. Uh, how I like to go about managing a game or a bullpen. I think he's in that camp. And, and uh, you know, I, I have always managed the bullpen and run the bullpen. Uh, but I will tell you, Gunnar will have a huge role in that as well. Carson, is them both. Um, Blake, is them there. Like, where are they right now? I'd say Carson's a starter. Uh, talking about Fluno. Uh he, he's kind of the ultimate utility guy. You could do a little bit of whatever you want with him, uh, but I think he's definitely going to be there to 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 start on the weekend in one of those three spots. Uh, Blake, I want to just see him continue to validate uh, what I saw last weekend uh, in his live arm at bats. Uh, it was electric, but I need to see him do it again, stay healthy. Let's do it again stay healthy. And then I think, Kev, you'll see me start him uh, slow and put him in uh, positions to to remain confident and healthy. You understand that you have to play games before you name anything, but what numbers-wise, you've got five guys yep. on your head. Five of them. Does what, or how does that work? Yeah, I think five of them uh, that I think have a, uh, you know, have starter type stuff uh, that I think they're all fit somewhere. Uh, Jack and and Chase Morgan and uh, Fluno, Andrew Armand, uh, Tate Hess, freshman. Uh, I think there's five in there. Fluno, obviously, five, six of them that I think are going to battle for uh, three to four spots, right? And uh, we'll see how it plays out starting tomorrow. So what's the biggest question mark in your mind over the first, you know, now that y'all are getting playing scrimmages and then the early season games that you've got to get in? I think behind the dish and that just that being synced up and, you know, that comfort level with who's comfortable with who and uh, us continuing to improve behind the dish, playing good center field defense. Uh, look, you may see me play a little bit different game at times too this year. Uh, I may play a little bit more for a run and inning at times. Like I said, I want to play behind this pitching staff, and and I don't know that we need to be so liberal uh, with outs uh, right now as much as try to choke and and suffocate uh, behind that pitching. And so uh, you you could see us utilize the short game. Uh, we'll still continue to use our legs, but uh, I'd like to be a, a, a tougher out for sure and uh, put the ball in play and put it in play on command, uh, meaning those alpha ABs run our third less than two. Uh, I'd like to see us in that 700, 750 uh, percentage and those at-bats continue to win backbreakers, two out RBIs. Uh, we've got a long way to go. We're we're way ahead of the curve of where we generally are just because of the experience and, and the amount of time that we've spent with particular guys that are going to be out there a lot. Uh, and so I've been able to put more of the offense, uh, you know, believe it or not, they there's very few teams that have had everything that we got put in. And uh, y'all saw a lot of that with 14, but that's a different dynamic. You got to A, have the skill set. B, you got to have the baseball IQ to handle it. And, uh, you know, I've, I've been able to ins- install a lot and we'll just see. 
Uh, we'll take what the game gives us, and and I'd just like to see us be solid on both sides of it and really lean on the arms because it is it's a lot of different looks. And uh, if you saw us play Nichols or or uh, LSU, you, you you saw that.